It's Halloween week. So all this week for the main video, we're going to look at something ghoulish, creepy, scary. And this week, we're going to look at the time Burger King gave us scary action figures in our kids' meal. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. Today, we're going to look at the time Universal Monster Toys came in Kids Meal. But first, I want to remind everyone that we do three videos a day now. And when I say we, I mean me. I don't know why I said we. Hey, what about me? Well, okay, I forgot about you. So I get, well, well, Larry's producing the show, so I guess it is a we. Anyway, at 3 a.m. every morning, you can watch me react to a YouTube video or some kind of video. It's a lot of fun. And then at noon every day is the kind of more laid back video. This is kind of where we just kind of get the topic going. I want to hear you guys' opinion in the comment section. And it's more just, hey, I throw out a topic out there or a memory or something I grew up on and hear what you guys have to say about it. And then 8 o'clock every night, is our main video. I like to say longer video, but sometimes they're shorter, but there are more in-depth, longer, normal videos that you come here for. And today, we're going to go back to 1997. In fact, October 1997, when Burger King put action figures in their kids' meal. These wasn't just action figures. These were Universal Monster action figures. That's right. The classics, Wolfman, Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon, who was probably like the granddaddy of Swamp Thing, right? Um, then these aren't just cheap figures they threw up in a kid's meal either. I mean, these are really good figures. They're 3.75 inches tall, coming in just a little smaller than your vintage Star Wars figures. Now, you're probably saying, this is weird. Why 1997? Well, about this time, they was really promoting the Universal Studios theme park and Universal Monsters. I mean, you had a new release of the classic movies on VHS. The United States released their Universal Monster stamp collection. So, it was really a pitch. So, there's really a fever of the Universal Monsters at this time. Each figure came with its own little playset. I guess you can call it a playset. Its own little extra piece that goes along with the figure to add more play value to it. And you also got a glow-in-the-dark sticker. If I don't know about you, but as a kid, I love anything that would glow in the dark. Glow in the dark anything would get me hooked. Now there were four figures, and there were four weeks in October. Each week, you had a new figure. So you had to go to Bird King at least one time each week in October if you wanted the whole complete set. This wasn't one of those times where you just went to Burger King, got a kid's meal, and opened it up and just got a random figure and hope you could collect them all. Nope. You had to go each week to get the one you wanted. If you missed a week, you would find yourself at the local rest area doing anything you could to get that figure you missed. Anything you could. All in the name of completing your set. Sure, you can all understand that. <laughs> nice costume. I'm so scared. <sighs> Universal Studios monsters are on the loose. You can get one toy and glow in the dark sticker inside every kids club meal at Burger King. Wow, really nice costume. Burger King Kids Club. Great food, cool stuff, kids only. Let's start with Count Dracula. Ooh, anything more scarier than a man that wants to bite on your neck. That is horrifying. And this figure came with a coffin. You heard me right, a coffin. Think about it, a kid's meal came with a toy coffin. Cause that's not morbid, I don't know what is. Now you would take the Count and Dracula figure, put it in the coffin, turn the little lever, and he would rise up out of the coffin. The door would bust open, and there he is, coming alive, Count Dracula. It was sure to send any kid that got this kill meal under the age of seven running off into the Burger King bathroom. Horrifying toys. And then we have Frankenstein. Actually, Junk Man, it's not Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein's monster. I know, I know. It's not, well, we know that, Larry. Don't you hate when you say Frankenstein and there's always that one person in the group that's got to tell you, it's not Frankenstein. Okay, we know, but we've, we all call him, he's Frankenstein now, okay? He's Frankenstein's monster. We just say Frankenstein. Come on. Anyway, you have an action figure of Frankenstein's monster. And this one came with a laboratory table you lay him on. Now, this figure was kind of like the see-through, at least the head part was. And there was a little light on the table. And when you turned that light on, it made his head look like it was glowing. It was pretty cool. And with a push of the button, you could have him rise up off the table. He's alive! He's alive! You're supposed to scream that when it happens. It's a pretty cool feature. Now, there's three things you can find in a swamp. Swamp Thing, Yoda, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. And this one didn't really come with any accessory. 
It would have been cool if he came with maybe some kind of swamp where you push the button and he pops up out of the swamp. But I don't really know how they would even make that. But the figure is all green and clear. You can see through it. Don't you love figures like that that you can look like glass you can see through? I love that feature. But he has scales and fins all over him. And the best thing about this figure was you dump him in water and you can fill him up with water. Take him out, press his chest, and he would squirt water all in your face. Oh, great times. And although he didn't come with an accessory, he did have the squirt feature, which gives him a little more play value. And to round it off, we have the man that is scared of the moon, Wolfman. Now this one here comes with two doors. I think it's supposed to be recreating a cellar and he's popping out of it. It works just like the Dracula one where you turn the lever and he pops right out. They probably could have came up with something a little better that wasn't just like retooled of what Dracula came with. But we are talking about kid meal toys, not Happy Meal toys. That's McDonald's. But you think these are fast food action figures. They're going to be cheap. They're probably going to break. But no, these figures are really well made and really well done. And anyone that's a fan of monster movies, especially universal monster movies, and a fan of collecting action figures, you got to have these. They remind me of the old Remco figures. You remember late 70s, early 80s? You can tell whoever designed these probably was inspired by that line. So how much are these worth today in the secondary market? Well, they're not really hard to find. They're all over eBay, and you can pick them up, even still in the bag that they came in, for as little as about $10. And if you wait around, you can find it cheaper than that, and you can find the whole set for about $30. So again, if you're an action figure collector and you love Universal Monsters, and you don't have these, they're good to pick up. I mean, they're a lot cheaper than the Remco figures, and they'll look good in any collection. Like I said, just because these are kid meal toys, don't think they're cheap action figures. They're really well done. They don't even have that cheap hollow feel that a lot of cheap action figures do. Well, that's a look at the Burger King Universal Monster Action Figure line. This was a success for Burger King, and I wish the following year they would have done another series. Gave us the Bride of Frankenstein. Oh, excuse me. The Bride of Frankenstein's Monster. Uh, I can't even think of another one. Who's another Universal Monster? I'm drawing a blank. Invisible Man. That might have been another good one, too. Hey, that would have been really good. You could just give kids an empty bag and be like, it's in there. Invisible Man. Saved a lot of money. Saved a lot of money. But sadly, we didn't get a series, too. This was it. And sadly, the world today, we don't even get any good stuff in kids' meals anymore. I don't even know what they put in kids' meal today. Probably nothing. If they do, it's probably something stupid like a book. Well, I hope you like this video. And tomorrow, we'll look at something else Halloween-related as in scary or ghouly. So come back at 8 o'clock to see what that is. And don't forget, 3 a.m. and noontime for the other videos. Thank you for watching. Thumb up so you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.